Vienna to Paris, Dubai, Madrid, to St. Petersburg and Moscow. The Greta Constantine fashion label can be found at luxury retailers such as Harold's in London and Holtz in Vancouver. Tonight with designers Kirk and Steven, just minutes before their show to understand their global success and dive into the intersection of design, business, and entrepreneurship. The two became fast friends and sought to pursue their lifelong dreams of starting their own label. Kirk, a stylist by trade based in Milan, worked for international designers, teamed up with Steven, who began his career as a costume designer, whose clothing appeared in several films, such as The Last Day of Disco, American Psycho, and Hairspray. Most um, successful companies have collaboration. So there is a creative person who has the vision, and then there's the person who can execute, like Wozniak and Jobs or Gates and Allen. How does your relationship work? Well, we're Greta and Constantine. <laughs> 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 it's it's kind of, it's, Stephen and I have been friends for many, many years. And when it comes to the design and the business part of it, it's, we feed off of each other. So half of all new startups fail within the first five years, and I know fashion is a highly competitive business, so how do you ensure success? We had a plan that you know we wanted to be in department stores, bigger stores rather than smaller stores because you know smaller stores there's risk sometimes and you know and just being new we wanted to avoid all those risks. And in Silicon Valley, the saying goes, failure is something that everyone has to have on their CV. Are you afraid of failure, or do you take it as a learning experience? I think we read somewhere that, mm -hmm. you know, this is where everything, people get weeded out. The stronger survive, oh, yeah. and the weaker get weeded out. Mm -hmm. And we thought to ourselves, you know what, we put so much into it before, so during this recession, we're just going to work even harder. And how do you set a vision for your team? So how do you get your colleagues and your staff and your partners excited about your vision and what you're doing? I think it, it, it stems from us. Trips that we take and places that we go, when we come back and give it back to them, it's almost like they're part, not even almost, like they are part mm -hmm. of it and they feed off of it. Smart person once said, in the design and creative process, if you're not constantly innovating and creating, you will die as a business and you'll stop growing as a person. How do you keep creating and innovating and where do you get your inspiration from? You know, when you go to Paris, which is like, in anyone who loves fashion's mind, it's the Mount Everest of fashion. Yeah. And just being in that environment itself and being in that world arena of fashion, you really start to see things in a different way. You guys have this intersection of design, creativity, entrepreneurship, and branding. You seem to have that passion throughout. Do you think that's a key component of your success, and Greta Constantine's success? It's a must. Yes, it it's is. A must. <laughs> we, well, we, I think we always feel that we're entrepreneurs every day of our yeah. lives. It doesn't stop. And what advice would you give to up and coming fashion designers? Passion. Passion, hard work. Don't think outside the box. Think outside the universe. Explore. Create. Contemporary. And you have to be willing to wear a lot of hats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>